Hey, it's Shane with GotRom.com. This video is about should weightlifters stretch? And the answer is it depends on what type of weightlifter you are, what you consider yourself to be. There's kind of two broad categories. There's weightlifters who are in the performance category, who are real serious. They're going for maximal strength, maximal power output, maximal competitiveness. Maybe they're actually a competitive athlete. Or there's weightlifters who are kind of in the general fitness enthusiast category, or as I call it, the health category. So you're either a performance weightlifter or you're kind of health weightlifter, and that kind of indicates your priority. The amount of flexibility work, the amount of stretching and mobility work that you need to do is heavily dependent on which category you fall in. So if you were a competitive weightlifter, I wouldn't be spending 50% of the time stretching and doing mobility work. You need to have as much mobility as needed to get into safe biomechanical positions in your overhead squats or you're catching your clean in your bottom position of your squats. You only need as much mobility as required, as much flexibility as required. So maybe 10 to 15% of your training session is spent kind of preparing yourself. And it also is highly individual. If you're a naturally flexible athlete, maybe 2% of your training is spent on flexibility, but maybe if you're a little stiffer, 10 to 15%. On the other hand, if you are a general fitness enthusiast whose primary goal, your highest goal is actually health, you might actually spend a little bit more time stretching and doing mobility work in the middle or before and after your weightlifting or your CrossFit or your general strength training. And the reason is because you, even though you care about being strong, being powerful, it's not at the expense of everything else and you're not willing to do it with more risk. So if I was training you and you were a general health person, maybe you're in your 40s or something like that, you've accumulated some aches and pains, but you still want to squat, you want to do Olympic lifting, maybe you're doing CrossFit, you should devote a little bit more of your time to stretching, to flexibility, to range of motion work because Yes, it's possible that if you spend you know, 20 minutes stretching before your workout, if you don't do a thorough warm-up after that, you might notice a slight decrease in your power output. There's some scientific research out there that says if you stretch before maximal intensity sprinting or lifting, you might notice your power output decreases. Um, so my answer or my kind of rebuttal to that is does my 45-year-old recreational athlete does it really matter if he has a 5% drop in his maximal power output? Is he really going for the Olympic gold? Or is it more important that he stays injury free? And I would assert that if your joints are not moving properly, if you're compensating due to a lack of range of motion, that's more important than did you PR on your squat. So which category do you belong to, performance or health? Identify which one you're in and concordantly spend more time stretching and doing flexibility work if you're in the health category. So, hope that video was helpful. See you in the next one.